Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical here with a quick little channel update. Um, pumping out as many videos as possible. Got a lot going on. Work, normal life, everything like that. Uh, also started the competition shooting team. So we're going to be able, we're going to be doing a lot of that. Um, one of the guys on the team just took ninth out of 55 in his last three gun match. The match before that took second out of, I believe, about the same number, if not more, uh, which is awesome. Shout out to you. You know who you are. Also, another one of our guys, if you follow the Terribly Tactical Instagram page or the Facebook page, which if you don't, you definitely should, definitely should, took first shooting trap. Um, so that's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Shout out to everybody. Again, the team is all encompassing. We're going to be shooting IDPA, USPSA, three gun, trap, skeet matches, things like that. Um, you know, multi gun matches, whatever we can, we're going to get out there and try and shoot it and compete and represent for the people that are helping us out, which at this current point in time is Lee Armory, Watchdog Tactical, Edge Eyewear, um, and possibly a couple others. So stay tuned for that. But Check those guys out. The links will be in the description box below. Um, always check the description box uh, for links. You know, if I've got coupon codes for you guys or, you know, there's always going to be a link to the GOA. I think the GOA is the only answer for gun owners, patriotic gun owners that actually care about their rights and that don't want their rights stripped away. The GOA is a no compromise organization, unlike the NRA, and they're actually out there fighting. They're actually out there doing something with the money that they give you or that you give them, excuse me, and uh, not lining their pockets like Wayne LaPierre and Chris Cox and all that shit. So please, please, please support the GOA if you do anything with the links down in the description box below. But if you do shop with some of those links, uh, I do get a little bit of a kickback or something out of it for that. And that does go directly to help the channel. Trust me, I'm making zero money off of this. Um, you know, all the money that I do make goes right back into the channel. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't expect to get rich off of, off of this. I don't expect, you know, to be able to retire off of this. I do this because I love this, because I care about it. And if I can get a positive message out there about the Second Amendment, if I can help fight for our rights, if I can help the industry itself grow if I can drop some decent knowledge and help people with their purchases and things like that. You know, just an overall experience. That's what I want to do. And I don't expect anything for it. And I'll do it for free any day of the week. But there is a lot of cost involved. So even something as simple as liking this video or liking any of my other videos or sharing them I'm on the Terribly Tactical Facebook page. You know, I've got 3000 some odd subscribers on the YouTube channel. And I think only 700 people on the Facebook page. So if you're on Facebook, go to the Terribly Tactical Facebook page and like it. You know, participate there. I drop links and, and videos and stuff over there. Uh, you can interact with me. You can message me through there. I think YouTube recently took away their, their you know, direct message type of deal. So that's a good way to get in contact with me. Also, Instagram. I'm always posted on Instagram, discount codes, different things like that. You know, just regular look into my life as myself, terribly tactical, the stuff I got going on. Uh, sometimes you get some sneak peeks and stuff of what's to come. Uh, and there's definitely a lot more to come. Uh, but at terribly underscore tactical is the Instagram. It's me with a full beard and an AK in the profile pic. And I think I only got like 600 some odd subs or whatever over there, followers over there. I'm also on Twitter, at TerriblyTac, and uh, please, if you have not, and you do enjoy the channel, you are a subscriber, please follow me on all the other social media, um, because like with YouTube, I can't always post links to things that I want to because of their new policies, so I can post them on these other platforms. Um, plus, I, I just want to expand the channel. I want to grow the channel. I want to make things you know, easier to get out there. You know, I want to be on different platforms. I want them all to be bigger. I want them to grow. You know, I'm not looking to financially gain, so to speak, off of this, but I want to make this bigger. This is something I'm passionate about. I want to grow it and I want to do the best I can to give back, whether it's, you know, getting enough money to, to cover my own costs and then giving the rest to charity like Yankee Marshall does, which go shout out. Um, well, not go shout out. I guess I'd be the one shouting out, but shout out Yankee Marshall for the things that he's, done, he's doing and has done for the Second Amendment and for people helping them exercise their Second Amendment rights. 
I don't uh, agree with him on a lot of things politically and vice versa, but he is definitely doing a lot more than a lot of other people to help promote the Second Amendment and to encourage others to exercise their Second Amendment and then allowing them to do so if they're not financially stable enough to purchase a gun by providing one for him with the Yankee Marshall Pistol Project. Uh, go to his website, his uh, his YouTube. There's all types of information on it. Donate to his Patreon or his website, you know, his PayPal, I think he's got up there. It really helps him out a lot because uh, he's given away a bunch of guns. He donates for um, a lot of animal charities, a lot of veteran charities, and uh, that's really awesome. Also, gun websites, go check out gun websites. Um, he, out of most people, I think, does do the most for the Second Amendment and expects nothing back in return. And that's very admirable. And I respect the guy a lot. He seems super cool. Puts out good content all the time. You know, go check him out. Uh, go check out my dude, Lead Slinger Dynamics. Uh, he just started a family. So congratulations to him, his wife, and his daughter. Um, he's got, you know, some background uh, in training. And he's he's got his own training company. And uh, he just started the YouTube channel. You know, I told him, start a YouTube channel, you know, kind of get yourself out there. But just like with me and I'm sure many other people, it's definitely slow going uh, at first, you know, just popping up with zero subscribers. You know, that's that's quite a way to go. I've been doing this for years now and I only have 3000. I feel like I deserve a little bit more than that. But then again, maybe I'm not working hard enough. So who knows? And I'm gearing up to do that. You know, I'm, I'm definitely trying to, to put as much effort as possible into this, you know, but I got a lot going on. I got the, the, the YouTube channel. I've got work, which I work a lot. And, uh, now this competition thing and everything else, you know, I want to be able to go hunting. I want to be able to relax. I want, you know, a lot of stuff and everything takes time and money. So, uh, again, not e-begging. Don't expect anything. If you do like the channel, just like the video, share the video, you know, follow me on, on the, on the Instagram page, on the Twitter page, on the Facebook page, leave a like, leave a comment. All of that stuff helps a lot more than you realize. And uh, it's all appreciated. It very much so is. If you talk to any of my subscribers or you see in the comments, you know, below, I'm very interactive. I try to respond to pretty much anyone as quickly as possible. You know, I'm not, I'm not too big for my britches. I'm not really that, you know, <laughs> big on YouTube at all, but you know, I try and even if I was, I would be interacting. You know, I'm not just going to let a million comments go by and act like I don't see them. I'm going to interact good, bad. Otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm a real person and that's kind of my view. You know, I'm terribly tactical. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Am I so damn tactical that I'm just terribly tactical and I'm just tactical as fuck? Or am I terrible at being tactical? Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere in between, but that's kind of like the play on words. That's kind of like me. I'm just a regular dude who is in this lifestyle, who is a Second Amendment supporter, a patriotic American, someone that loves the the entire country as a whole and, and what we stand for. And I'm hating to see it change the way that it is. And I'm willing to fight to get it back. So, you know, it's, it's just all encompassing. I'm just a regular dude. I'm a regular dude on YouTube that likes guns and gear and shooting and stuff like that. And I just want to share that with you guys. And I appreciate all you that have stuck around for the journey. And I hope a couple more of you guys join up. But I know this is a lot. I know I'm rambling. Typical, you know, unprofessional, terribly tactical status quo um, in my car like a, like a scrub. I need to get like a really professional office with a green screen and everything else. But I'm far from that. So in the meantime, we're doing videos on the phone, in the car, about to go to work. And uh, we're keeping it really classy here. So again, recap. Please follow me on all the social media platforms, wherever you can find me, follow me, interact, leave comments, likes, shares, all that stuff. It really, really helps. I do have a Patreon account. If you do want to donate, that does help the channel, um, you know, because this does it's, this stuff does cost a lot of time and money. And I'm trying to put as much effort into it as possible. Um, and hopefully you guys reap the, the benefits and rewards of that. Uh, again, the links in the description box below. If you click on the links, shop with some of the links. You know, I do get a little bit of a kickback with some of them. If not, you're helping out the companies that have helped me, you know, in my journey in doing this and with the competitive shooting and stuff like that. So we all appreciate that a lot. And uh, 
check out Lead Slinger Dynamics, Yankee Marshall, gun websites. Um, they're all doing really awesome stuff, and uh, they deserve some some shout outs for that for sure. You know, you the the whole YouTube community I feel like is is a little bit too mainstream, and I think the smaller voices um, don't get that much of a, a you know a voice, I guess, you know, in, in things that I think the smaller guys, you know, they're, they're less beholden to, you know, the rules and regs of the industry. And they can kind of say and, and what they want and speak their mind a little bit more and have a better outsider perspective of things. Cause sometimes you get wrapped up, you know, like if you're a, if you're a military arms channel, um, you know, he's, he's, he's in, well, I don't know exactly, but he seems like he's in bed with, you know, some of these companies. He says he doesn't get a lot of money or any money from them. Um, but he's definitely reaping some benefits. You know, he gets sent guns for free to try out. He gets, you know, flown overseas to go visit their warehouse and their factories and all that stuff. So, I mean, he's, he's inside of the industry. Okay. As opposed to a guy like me, I'm on the outskirts, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit, I do work in the industry, but it's it's not anywhere near like some of these other guys. So I don't have the connections like that. I don't have, and I don't want handouts. You know, I want to work and earn. Uh, I want to work for and earn. You know, every for everything that I get. But at the same time, that's kind of hard to do when you're this small because you don't have a voice you, your voice doesn't get heard you know you have a voice everyone has a voice but it doesn't get heard on a much larger scale and i the thing that bothers me is i feel like a lot of these guys that have the bigger voice and have the larger scale and the larger audience that it goes to waste on on commercialized things instead of the things that actually matter like our rights and being able to exercise them and fighting for freedom and stuff like that and fighting you know, to keep mom and pop gun shops in business and, and things like that, you know, and encouraging new shooters and, and, and shooting sports and hunting and self-defense and all that stuff. And that all kind of gets lost in, in the array of, well, you know, CZ just sent me this new gun and, and here it is and it's super awesome and this is the only thing that matters. Yeah, that's awesome. I do that stuff too. I review guns and gear and, and backpacks and blades and sunglasses and all types of stuff all the time because it's the stuff that we use as a as a shooter and it, it's part of our lifestyle it's part of our hobby and it's important but it's never as important as our rights because without our rights none of this crap matters it really doesn't so keep that in mind guys i know i've been rambling i'm sorry i apologize typical um Again, hit me up on all the social media accounts. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you can do to participate. If you can donate to the Patreon, that's awesome. If not, it's not expected. If you shop at the links below, that's awesome. If you join the GOA, that's the most awesome. And uh, spread the good word. You know, Encourage people to shoot. Your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your grandchildren, your friends, your family, you know, strangers. You know, Get everybody into the sport, into the lifestyle, into the hobby. They don't, they don't have to if they don't want to. But if they're interested, help guide their way. Do it safely and do it properly. And uh, that's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I got to get to work. Probably going to be late. But I'm doing it for you. I hope you guys appreciate it. We'll catch you later.